Thank you. Here you go. All right. I'll, I'll, let me just say something before we uh before we go any further. I just want to thank everybody for coming out first of all and uh, supporting the first uh, Lake Tuskegee uh, Kids Fishing Derby that was sponsored by the City of Tuskegee, the Utility Board, uh, Tuskegee Bait and Tackle Market, a host of uh, friends, relatives, and supporters, man. I, you know, there's just a, a lot of people that, that I want to thank, and we'll do that publicly at another time, but uh, there's been a lot of people that, that wanted to see this, this, uh, see this event take place. And I hope next year, or maybe even before, we'll come back and do something bigger and, and, uh, or just the same. But the biggest thing I wanted to say was I, I appreciate the adults uh, bringing the kids out here. And I wish you would really think about bringing them more often to the lake to enjoy fishing and, you know, the view, some of the finer things in life. I'm here six days a week from 7 to 7. Every day except Monday, the lake will be closed on Mondays. And uh, uh, it's just a it's just a really good really good uh, thing for people to come out and bring the kids to the outdoors. Let me say this, and that is, is that, and I said, come over here. Sorry about that. Uh, and I said this before, and that is, is that uh, it's been a it's been a long journey, and some of you all know that I started on this journey probably seven or eight months ago. You know, trying to. Uh, campaign for this cause and, and to get people to understand that the importance of, of uh, letting children come uh, and enjoy the lake and enjoy fishing and you know and something else that I that I did and I don't talk about this often and that is I try to bring the older and the younger people together once again because there's a bigger purpose in why I do this and everybody doesn't understand that and I don't expect everybody to but I believe and I'm, I'm from the old school but I believe that you know, if we, as older and younger people, kind of come together, you know, and bridge the gap, maybe, just maybe, this community has an opportunity to, 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 to be recognized again, you know? Uh, and some of you don't, don't understand that. Some people don't even care, quite frankly, but I do. You know, I do because, you know, my, my roots lie deep in this community, and, and I tell people all the time that, you know, uh, they say, well, where are you from, Brownlee? You ain't from here. You migrated here. I said, uh, I did, but, you know, my auntie sitting right there, and she can tell you that, you know, my mother and they were raised right out here, you know? And they're, 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 uh, they're up in age, let me say that, you know? Uh, so, you know, this is real personal for me. It's a dream, and I just want to say thank everybody, you know, for, for being supportive and, and, at any time you, you come out here, you know, there's a lot of things going on, not just fishing. If you're not a fisher and you don't fish, you know, there are a host of other events that happen out here. For example, on, on, on Sundays, first and fourth Sundays, we have what we call Easy Listening Sunday. So you come out, we turn up some nice music, jazz and blues mostly, and you know, we do other venues as well. We will get into live bands out here. And just being able to enjoy, we will crank up the barbecue grill, you know, people bring the lawn chairs, be some good wholesome conversation. You know, easy listening to Sundays is for the adults, but again, you know, there's other things that happen out here, and it's important, uh, you know, the main source that we use is the Tuskegee News, and we also use the uh, new Channel 6, uh, which is Tuskegee's own TV station. Uh, we use that as a means of advertisement as well. You may. You may find flyers and things like that around sometime, but uh, uh, the most important thing is is that don't hesitate. A lot of people stand off because they see all that we've done. We've spent a lot of money. We've done a lot of work, and uh, I can't sit here and thank everybody individually because y'all probably won't get to the prizes, but there's been a lot of people who have just been really, really supportive in this process, and believe it or not, it's just beginning, you know. Uh, uh, we, we, we're here to, to uh, keep the keep the city lake clean. You know, I started that campaign about about eight or nine months ago. Help keep the city lake clean campaign, and uh, uh, the place looks a lot nicer. You know, it looks a lot nicer. A lot more people are coming out. You know, uh, old and young. So uh, 
I just want to thank you for, for coming out. I want to let these gentlemen give away the prizes and just say that I really appreciate everybody coming. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Long. Keep it on. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I think uh, this young man deserves a applause. What he, what he's done here. Uh, I've been sponsoring some of my kids for the last 25 years, and he has uh, always brought his troops. He has a child that had a, a rod and reel that he wanted when he was nine years old and they're still fishing with him. This kid will be 27 years old next month. So he's done a lot for the community and let's continue to support him. So let's give him another hand. I think they got that, I think. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Tracy and Freddie. Let them, let them hand the prize out. You guys, let me just mention one other thing. In the beginning when we first started, all the children got a little bag. I hope you keep up with that stuff because, again, when you come back, if you hadn't got a tackle box of your own, you know, at some point, you'll get your parents to buy it. We got a full-scale baby tackle shop inside. We say we sell everything you need at a very, very reasonable price to, to uh, fish. And if you haven't been in there before, just take the time out at any given time that you want to, just pop in. Uh, but the kids should, should hold on to that stuff that's in that bag because hopefully you'll catch your biggest fish with one of those lures in there and you'll come back and tell us later on, you know, hopefully. And uh, uh, Patrick Wallace, I want to thank you. Noah Hopkins, I, I really appreciate the, you know, the support that you've given us and, and the, uh, the public uh, relations that you've done to, to, to help bring this, uh, this dream to fruition, you know. I really appreciate it. So, without further ado, all right, you guys, let's give the, uh, the participants a round of applause. All right, you guys, we're adding an additional group. I had a couple of four-year-olds to come out. I was very excited to see the young kids come out. We did have a winner for the four-year-olds group, uh, Alexis Edwards. Alexis. You come forward, Alexis. Come, come on. Come on. Come on right here. All right. Oh, wow. Alexa. Right, right, right down there. now. Just remember, all right, his son's... Wait, turn around, wait, 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 wait. We're going to let you hold your rod, okay? Uh, take a picture. She's four years old. Four years old. She's going to have a rod and she becomes 27 years old, too. That's right. She's five. She's five. Oh, okay. She got five. She got five. She got here. Take your own. Take your own. You got to move right away. Look, I'm like, wait, hold right there, man. Hold right there. Let me take your picture, okay? Hold them up. Hold your rod up. Hold your rod up. Hold your rod up. Let them know. Man, that's good. That's great. The first, she caught the first fish yelling, I got it, you know. She said, I got it, she got it. In the next category, we have age six to nine. And here we have, wow, we have some anglers on here. But we're going to start with the largest fish caught by Mr. Dominique Brown. Oh, the largest fish. All right. Go back to the end. Right. 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 The largest fish. Turn around, Dominic. There we go. Look at Dominic. Look over this way. <laughs> All right, the next one we have the first fish caught in this age group. Come on, come on. As, come on, his name is Matthew. Dominic. Turn. Is he here? Get right there. Turk? Right there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> she caught the first fish. Turn your reel around. She caught the first fish? First fish. Her age. Her age. Her age. Her age. Her age. Her age. Six to nine. Wait a minute. You can't give a couple <laughs> and the next overall, this guy right here, he's an angler. We're going to give him one of them Mr. Christian Hexy. He caught eight, he caught eight pounds, ten ounces of catfish. Oh, 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 oh. Eight pounds, ten ounces of catfish. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh.